Christ is the Son of God. He's the Christ. He's Lord. He's the Messiah. He's the only begotten Son of the Most High God. He is God by given authority from the Father, but He is not the Most High God. But He is not the Most High God. But He is not the Most High God. Jesus is not the Most High God? Really? Let's look at a, something very interesting here. Turn your King James Bible to John chapter 8. Lasala just proved that he is a Pharisee. Let me show you. John chapter 8, verse 56 through 59. It says here, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. That's God's title. Look what they did. Verse 59, Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself, and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Why did they take up stones? Because Jesus Christ used the title of God the Father. Before Abraham was, I am. What did God tell Moses back there in the book of Exodus? I am that I am. That's God's title. That's why they took up stones. He used God the Father's title. John chapter 10, verse 30. John chapter 10, verse 30. Jesus speaking again, it says here, I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father. For which of these do ye stone me? You ready? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Let me ask you a question. Why did Jesus, why was he crucified on the cross? What, what was the charge against him? What did the Pharisees bring against him? Because he was saying that he was God. Um, what side do you think uh, Chris LaSala, what side do you think he would take? He publicly came out and said in his video, supposedly answering me, it's more like an attack on me, but uh, whatever, I'm used to that. And we'll get into some of the little accusations that Little Princess came up with there. But, uh, uh, you know, what was his thing that he said? He said, Jesus is not the Most High God. Now, oh, well, we should let's let's just talk about this and stuff. And I see these people. Well, I disagree with you there, you know, brother Chris. But we'll just you know agree to disagree. If you're saved, you can't agree to disagree on whether or not Jesus is God. Okay, that is not something that's debatable. 
if your Jesus that you worship is not God the Father and the Holy Ghost, three in one, if that's not who you worship, you're not saved. So all the little debates and stuff and little word games that you can get back and forth going, oh, what about this, what about this, and what about these things, and have you ever cast demons out of people, and blah, 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 all this other stuff. Hey, man, if you don't believe Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh, you're on your way to hell. You are lost. You You are denying scripture. You are denying what Jesus Christ himself said. And what little Lasala does there, being a lost man, he doesn't understand the mystery of godliness. So he'll look at things that talk about Jesus and the Father, you know, and then Jesus praying to the Father, and he goes, just like any lost Muslim will do, well, then he couldn't have been God in, in, the, in the flesh. Denying other portions of scripture. And again, I'm not going to go into all the scriptures. We're, we're going to look at a few that prove what I'm saying. But uh, I'm not going to look at all the scriptures. I've done that in other studies. You know, unlike LaSalle, I actually have, you know, lots of Bible studies out there. Um, but, you know, if you're lost, you aren't going to understand the scriptures, but uh, like LaSalle. But check this out. Go to Acts chapter 20.